Okay, hi there, it's Jeff here with another in our series of macro short answer questions. We take a topic, a little bit of a daily response stimulus, and then I work through an answer with you. This video is on the cost of rising inflation. And it's an eight marker. By the way, I teach Edexcel board, and so this is geared to that board, but hopefully useful for those of you who teach, uh, who uh, study other exam boards. Annual inflation in the UK in April 2022 reached its highest level since 1992 at 9%. Prices have been rising across almost all sectors, uh, but fuel and energy have been particularly noticeable. For example, the off-gem energy price cap increased on the 1st of April by 54% compared to the previous cap. So the rise in inflation in the UK, one of the big topics, currently 9%. And here's my question. Examine two possible costs of rising inflation for households in the UK. So this kind of links you know, households with consumer spending, etc. What I want to do in this question, uh, in, in terms of an answer, is just show you how you can build a slightly longer evaluation point. Still 2KA points, but maybe only one evaluation point for an 8-mark question. Okay, so first KA point, one cost of rising inflation is that many households will see a fall in their real income. And then you build a liver application to support it. For example, if inflation is 9% and nominal wages rise by only 4%, so wages not keeping, uh, keeping up with prices, this leads to a 5% decline in real wages. A nice bit of analysis saying that the impact is on real incomes, particularly if wages don't rise as fast as prices. A second cost of inflation is that the Bank of England has and is likely to continue raising monetary policy interest rates. This will make borrowing more expensive. For example, higher mortgage rates, those people taking out a home loan, which will then lower the effective disposable income of millions of households. Effective disposable income is income after tax and benefits, but also after those big payments like the mortgage bill, which you can't avoid. This might then increase the risk of a consumer recession. So the two costs are lower Real incomes, if wages don't rise as fast as prices, and higher interest rates on loans, credit cards, and mortgages and things which cut into your effective disposable incomes. Two of the costs of inflation. Now, you could write two shorter evaluation points for each of those paragraphs. What I've tried to do in, in the next slide is just try, write one evaluation paragraph. So here we go. Before, before we do that, by the way, a really interesting bit of data from the Institute for Fiscal Studies suggesting that High inflation is a problem for all people, but that the poorest 10%, the poorest decile in the population, actually might have a, an inflation rate of more than 14%. So inflation, let's say, averages 10% in October with the next energy price spike. It could be the case that the poorest 10% might have an inflation rate of 14% and the next poorest, 12%. That is a really good bit of data to use if you get a question on inflation and inequality. Let's go back to my evaluation paragraph. So what I'm doing here is just developing a slightly longer eval point. I think it's five lines there. Instead of writing two evals, develop one in a bit more detail. So, however, this depends on the ability of workers, employees, to bargain for pay rises that might compensate for both higher inflation and higher loan costs. Unemployment is low, good bit of knowledge there, 3.8% of the labour force, and many employers face labour shortages, so wage bargaining power might be tilting towards employees. Maybe the balance of power in the labour market is tilting to those workers who uh, have those scarce skills. And firms may want to raise pay, providing they have the profits to absorb this, to attract and to keep, to retain skilled workers in scarce supply. So what I've done there, I've built two KA points, as you have to, but I've decided to write a slightly longer evaluation point, with some good application in there, and that would definitely get the two marks for both analysis, for knowledge, for evaluation, and also for application. Okay, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, press like, and see you again very soon.